Now let's see this interesting question. While walking three fourth of the normal speed, Ram arrives one hour late. What is the normal time? Uh, that means what is the normal time to cover up that particular distance? Okay. So friends, further the same logic is over here. Speed is inversely proportional to time. That means speed is distance by time. If distance is constant, if and speed is increased, time will be decreased. Okay. Now, let's understand this concept. Let's say we have to cover up this distance. That is A, B. It's any distance may be 100 meter. Okay. Now, if this distance is fixed. Okay. Now, this person, uh, maybe Ram, if we talk about if he doubles his speed, he'll be covering this distance in half the time. Okay, isn't it? If he doubles his speed, he will be taking half of the normal time to cover up this distance. And if he's uh, doing his speed three times, then he'll be taking one third of the normal time. Isn't it? Similarly, if he uh, make his speed half of the normal, then he'll be taking double the time. And if he uh, does speed one third of the normal then he'll be taking three times of the normal time now we assume that the normal time is one okay so if he's uh, walking with three fourth of his normal speed his time will be four by three of the normal isn't it uh, so four by three is what 1 plus 1 by 3. We are uh, doing this uh, calculation in terms of fraction only. So just listen to me very carefully. It's a very simple concept. If he's doing his speed 3 fourth of the normal, then he'll be taking 4 third of the normal time. That is the reverse of this since speed is inversely proportional to time. That means he's taking 1 third part extra from the normal. Now here in this case, he's getting late by 1 hour. And uh, this one hour is equivalent to 1 by 3. So 1 by 3 is equivalent to 1 hour. One hour. That means 1 is equivalent to 3 hours. Now what was 1? That was a normal time which he is taking to cover up that particular distance. So actually he regularly takes 3 hours to cover up that particular distance. Okay. And on that particular day while he made his speed 3 fourth of the normal he is taking 1 hour more. That is he is taking 4 hours to uh, complete that particular distance. I hope you are clear. Uh, let's see this case. While walking at 6 by 5 times his normal speed a person reaches his destination 20 minutes early. What is his normal time? Uh, friends, in the previous case, the person was reducing his speed. In this case, the person is increasing his speed. Now, further, uh, speed is inversely proportional to time. So, if he is making uh, his speed 6 by 5 times the normal, that means he will be taking uh, the time as 5 by 6 of the normal. Let's see, the normal time is 1, that is a unit. So, he will be taking 5 by 6 of that. Okay. 5 by 6 of 1. That means he will be taking 1 by 6 less uh, from normal. Now this 1 by 6 is what? In this case it is 20 minutes. Isn't it? Since he is taking 1 by 6 part less than the normal and he is getting 20 minutes early to his destination. That means this 1 by 6 is 20. So if 1 by 6 is equivalent to 20, 1 must be equivalent to 120. And 1 was his normal time. Okay. So his normal time is 120 minutes. That's, that is 2 hours. So friends, if you are conceptually clear about the relationship of uh, speed and time, then you can do this sort of problems even mentally. Just listen to me very carefully. How do you visualize the situation? Uh, since he is making his speed 6 by 5, the time will be 5 by 6, which is 1 by 6 less than the normal and that 1 by 6 is this 20 minutes. So 1 is 120 minutes. Okay, that is 2 hours. Uh, I am sure you are clear. Let's take the next problem. Now let's do this question. Walking 4 fifth of my usual speed, I miss the bus by 5 minutes. What is my usual time? Further, 
uh, friends will not be going for any sort of paperwork just listen to me carefully and uh, i hope uh, and in fact i expect you should do this problem and then match your solution and final answer with mine okay so if his uh, if i am making my speed 4 fifth of the usual that means my time to cover up that particular distance is 5 by 4 not what now what 5 by 4 is it is 1 by 4 extra than 1 now that 1 by 4 is extra and that extra is 5 minute so 1 by 4 is 5 minute that means 1 is 20 minute now 20 minute is the usual time which I am taking to cover up that particular distance. Okay. So I hope your answer and solution is matching with mine. And uh, you are conceptually clear about this relationship of speed and time. Now try this question. And uh, don't touch your paper and pen. Just do it mentally. Walking at three fourth of the normal speed, a man is late by 2.5 hours. That means two and a half hours. What is the usual time? Okay. Now, if the speed is three fourth, the time will be four by three. That is one by three extra. Now that one by three extra is 2.5. That means one is 7.5 hours. Okay. So the usual time is 7.5 hours.